Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're up 1.2% on the one-hour chart. We are nearing overbought RSI. We're still on positive MACD. As for the four-hour chart, we are also nearing overbought RSI as well, and we are also positive MACD, and we breached above the 200 moving average on the four-hour chart. On the daily chart, we are approaching to the 50-day moving average, and one could say that the bottom is in, but there is still some concern. Reason why? So let's indicate, let's start from, I would say, Let's move back to February 20th. We made a short-term short -term bottom at this point. That was a 50% retracement on the Fibonacci retracement. And then after hitting the 50% retracement, we continued down lower. So let's move, move this retracement line. And let's make the retracement line all the way back to the lows of March 23rd and we are currently at the 50% retracement line. So there is concern that we may continue down lower. Again, there's a, another possibility, a very small possibility that this is a V-shaped recovery, but at the moment, it's still too early to see that happening. So there is one indication that once we reach that 50% Retracement, which is where we are currently at today, we may see the S&P 500 to continue down lower. As indicated, what happened back in February 28th, it retraced back to 50 and then head back lower, much lower. So if we do head back lower, that price movement, I do see a possible support level around the 18-day moving average, which is around a price of 250. And that will be our first immediate support. And as for resistance, if we do manage to climb higher that price, I do see a price resistance around the 50-day moving average, this yellow line. That is around a price of $288. And we also have a gap down around that range as well. So that is our next resistance. So if we do continue to climb higher, that price movement is roughly around 4% to the upside. And to the downside, it is around 9% to hit back to the 18-day moving average, this purple line. So let's head back to the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as the days progress to the seventh day, we have a 63% chance for the S&P 500 to climb higher between 0 and 11%. We have a 13% chance for the S&P 500 to climb higher between 11% and 22%. On the other hand, we have a 25% chance for the S&P 500 to fall between 0 and negative 11%. So let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. So right here we have the current trend, and we want examine each trend to find the best match. The August 11, 2008 to November 4, 2000, 2008 was the best match to the current trend that we have right now. So we overlapped it and let's examine on the trends. So what we have here on the current trend, we start off at the upper Bollinger Band and then we proceeded to dip lower to touch the bottom Bollinger Band. Next, we made a nice reversal to hit the upper Bollinger Band and we are nearing that upper Bollinger Band range as well. So let's examine the trend in question. Again, this trend dates back to August 11, 2008 to November 4th, 2008. So what we have here, we start off at the upper Bollinger Band, then we proceeded to dip lower to touch the bottom Bollinger Band, and then we saw that reversal to hit the upper range of the upper Bollinger Band. 
So we have those patterns there. So we have one, two, three points on the current trend. We also have one, two, three points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fitted the same. So the model that we just examined was August 11, 2008 to November 4, 2008. Back then, the S&P 500 fell around, I would say, 10.5%. So if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincides with that standard deviation of 25% chance between 0 and 11% down. So let's examine the technical performance of the current trend. So we are in the current trend. We are down 21% from monthly high, up 20% from monthly low, up 7% from 10 simple moving average, up 11% from 20 simple moving average, and down 4% from 50 simple moving average. So now the trend that we just examined was August 11, 2008 to November 4th, 2008. It was down 30 percent from monthly high, up 16 percent from monthly low, up 8 percent from 10 simple moving average, up 7 percent from 20 simple moving average, and down 8 percent from 50 simple moving average. The technical performance is somewhat alike to the current trend that we have here. And again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.